Football season is here and summer tailgating is a fun time to fire up the grill and make the most of warm weather. Now your game plan for serving up a delicious pregame meal can still be flavorful and festive while taking a lighter approach. Yes, it can. And gearing up for game time typically means serving up plenty of snacks, of course. So refresh your game day strategy and aim to balance out your spread by featuring more of those nutrient rich foods. You can balance out your game day spread and make vegetables a key part of the plan. Food City fruit and vegetable trays are a no prep solution to feature a fresh component. And for a flavor filled option, serve up a vegetable heavy salsa by combining roasted corn, canned beans, diced tomato, onion, bell peppers, jalapeno, and cilantro with plenty of lime juice. And pair it with some chips too for a, a crunch factor. Super simple. And I think people don't think veggies all mm -hmm. the time when we're thinking about game day, but they have their place. And of course, a great place to put those veggies with a dip is a jalapeno popper dip that is going to be savory and satisfying but it's lightened up by featuring low-fat cottage cheese mm. in place of doing a hundred percent cream cheese as the base you're simply going to blend cottage cheese and then mix it in with some light cream cheese some shredded cheese cheese obviously is a big component here a little bit of chopped jalapeno some bacon and finish off with some green onion i love this because you can actually put this right on the grill or smoker or you can bake it in the oven for about 30 minutes at 400. it's delicious for you to pair with either your favorite chips or vegetables for that dipping option. Absolutely. It looks delicious and sounds delicious as well. And grilling is also a simple way to feed a crowd and serve up flavorful lean protein picks. So a fan favorite from Food City's meat department is grill-ready kebabs featuring chicken or beef with colorful veggies. You can infuse game day flavor by whipping up buffalo chicken skewers. Simply pre-marinate the skewers in buffalo sauce and grill over medium heat while baste with the sauce until the temperature reaches 165 degrees and then balance those out with a cool creamy blue cheese dipping sauce. This features culinary tours blue cheese crumbles and Greek yogurt for some extra protein and then garnish with uh, green onion and pair with some celery for that fresh component as well. And these look so good and if your team has orange in their uh, color <laughs> you're definitely gonna be festive with that as well. Right. And of course for a lighter take on crowd on a crowd pleasing favorite you can tried pulled pork sliders featuring pork tenderloin. Mm -hmm. Now this is something where you can put that pork tenderloin, which is rich in B vitamins, um, like thiamine, also lower in total fat. So a little bit different than our traditional barbecue. You can simply put this in a slow cooker for about seven or eight hours overnight. It's gonna pull apart super easily. Pair it with your favorite low sugar or sugar-free barbecue sauce, and then top with a fresh slaw featuring cilantro and lime. Gives that bright pop of color, a little bit of tang, and more vegetables vegetables, of course, and finish it off with either a whole wheat bun or a slider just to kind of get those perfect game day portions ready to celebrate your favorite team. And we've just been talking about how good this smells. Yes. So yes. Looking forward to digging into that. And no matter where you plan to enjoy the game day festivities, you can balance your tailgate plate with these fan favorites. You can find more tailgating recipe inspiration at foodcity.com.